So we made our own 4G development board that is compatible with all the popular development boards in the market and has built in GNSS, PLE, microphone and a lot of other features. And in this video, I'm going to let you know everything about this board like its features and also how to use it with the popular development boards. And not only that, I'm also going to cover the design perspective of this board like what all components are used in it and what's the importance of all those components. So there is a lot to know and lot to learn in this single video. So let's get started. So once you place the order, this is how you'll receive our 4G development board along with the three different kinds of antenna, one for 4G, second for GPS or GNSS, and third for BLE. And now let's focus on our main board. So this board is based on Simcom A7672S module and here I chose this particular module for three major reasons. The first and foremost reason being this model supports the 4G network connectivity that means you can definitely use the Geo SIM card and all of the SIM card from the network provider who has the 4G connectivity as well. And as we are moving over to 4G, we'll getting the better uplink and downlink speed as compared to the 2G network that we are using previously. The second reason is it has built in GNSS which means we can make a tracking solution out of it. Well, it is GNSS and not GPS and GNSS is far accurate than GPS and I already made a short video about uh, like GNSS versus GPS which I'll definitely recommend you to watch it out. And the third reason is this module is supported in the most popular tiny GSM library in Arduino IDE which makes our task of making the projects out of it really easy and very straightforward. And this is a very important point to be considered when you are making the development board for makers and engineers which is to make sure that it's easy to get started with it so that makers can only focus on how to turn that idea into reality rather than wasting their time and researching about how to use that board. So those were some of the main reasons why I chose the Simcom A7672S module. And now let me take you to the schematic of this board where I'll discuss about what other components are used in it and what's the importance of those components. Okay, so here is the complete schematic of our 4G development board. Now, at first glance, it may seem confusing to you, but once I explain all the important parts of this particular board, this schematic will be very easy for you to understand and you feel like it was a very simple to make. Let's start with the first component which is A7672S model. Now this is the main 4G module this from Simcom and here we don't have much components. We have the main board and all are the net ports connected uh, with it and some ground terminals. Okay, so nothing major here but one thing to uh, you know notice here is we have put test points this time. As you can see, there are a lot of test points here. Well, this is a common practice that electronic products manufacturer uses and we also implemented that practice here and I'll suggest you to use this. It's very, it's very helpful while debugging. So let us uh, uh, cover another component, which is the power supply. So here we are using this MIC29302 IC, which will take the 12 volt input. It's not necessary 12 volt. It can also support 9 volt and 5 volt as well. And it will convert it into 3.8 volt, which will later be provided to the SIMCOM module. So 3.8 volt will be directly provided to the SIMCOM module. And here we are using a DC jack to provide the input. Now here, just near to the DC jack, we have put a short key diode to make sure that in case if you attach the terminals in reverse polarity, still it will not damage any component in this circuit. Your circuit will be safe and sound because this diode can handle up to 40 volt reverse voltage, which is good enough, right? So this is a protection a component that we added. And later we are giving this 12 volt input to the 5 volt converter and 3.3 volt converter as well. Now I'll let you know the importance of these two components uh, later, like at the end of the schematic, okay? And now after converting the 12 volt to 3.8 volt, we are giving this supply to the filter circuit where we are filtering all the small, small transients, okay, or noise we can say with the help of this uh, capacitors connected in parallel. Now, along with all these capacitors, we also added a TVS diode, which will help us to protect our circuit from electrostatic discharge or ESD, we can say. Now, as we all know that the static current uh, present in our body can damage that electronic component as we touch that component, okay? It may damage the complete circuit. So to protect that, we use this TVS diode which will help us 
uh, with the EST protection. Now we have used it here in the filter and also along with our SIM tray. Okay, so here is the SIM card slot and here we have used the array of all those TVS diodes and this is also for same reason for EST protection. Now recently Great Scott put a video dedicatedly on the TVS diode which explains how it protects from the EST and why it is really very useful. So I'll highly recommend you to watch that video out and from that video you'll come to know the importance of this component and here that's why I put the component so even if uh, there is some static discharge the circuit will still be working without damaging any component. So that was the filter part and after filtering that supply it will be given directly to the simcom module which is a 3.8 volt dc supply later we have three different antennas connected here one is for ble antenna other is a 4g antenna and the third is the gps antenna now below the gps antenna we have an interesting circuit called as a level shifter now here the simcom module has a uart pin of course and that uart communicates at 1.8 volt logic level now as we all know that the arduino works on 5 volt logic level and the esps work on 3.3 volt logic level so to make sure that that logic level can communicate with the logic level of simcom module we need a logic level shifter which is provided here and we have a slide switch as well which we need to adjust based upon the control we are using if we are using arduino well we need to put it at the 5 volt level if we are using the esp board we will put it at the 3.3 volt logic level and that's how it will convert the logic and our sim model will be able to communicate with that controller board so that's a logic level shifter then we have a microphone as well now Generally, Simcom modules like the Sim 800 and all further models and even the 4G models that are currently available in the market don't have the microphone built in. But when I started using the A9G board, which already has the microphone built in, I found out that this is really useful feature to provide a microphone because we can use it for listening the conversation happening around that board. So we thought we, def we should definitely put a microphone on our 4G model as well. And this is a very sensitive microphone and using which you can listen to the conversation crisp and clear. So that we have added here. Then after the microphone, we have a status LED and a net light, which are the two really important lights on the SIM model, which will help us know the status of the SIM model, like how it is working, is it powered on or not? Is it connected with the network? Everything, okay? Later, we have a power key as well. Now, this SIM module has a pin on which we can provide the signal to boot it up and to shut it down. So we have provided two different ways to do that. One is a physical button. So on the board, we have a button, push button, using which we can turn on the model and turn it off as well. And not only button, we also provided a power key pin, which is provided in this, uh, uh, what we can say, output pin header, which is here, so that we can power it on and off with the help of the external microcontroller as well. So that kind of feature that we have provided here. And the last section is the reset, which is provided in this output header only, which means we can uh, reset the board with the help of the microcontroller. Now we are just left with the 5 volt controller and 3.3 volt controller. As you can see, we don't require the 5 volt and 3.3 volt anywhere in this complete schematic. So why I used it? Well, I have provided it to make it more useful. So what happens is, this 4G module needs an external microcontroller to work with it, to make any projects, to make anything. You will need an external controller to communicate with the SIM module. That controller can be an Arduino board, can be an ESP board. So what I was thinking is when you are making the project, when you're using both the boards, there should be one single power source provided in this complete project. It should not be like the controller is powered separately and the SIM model is powered separately. There should be only one single source. And for that reason, I use this. So what happens is this, uh, when you provide this 5 volt, 12 volt or 9 9 volt to this supply it will definitely power up the sim module but with the help of this 12 volt net port provided in the 5 volt and 3.3 volt it will provide a 5 volt and 3.3 volt output as well which is here in the pin header this 5 volt and this 3.3 volt so these are the output pins which we can you know give to the controller board and it will power it up as well so by just inserting a single power jack you are powering the sim module you are powering the microcontroller board so that was the thought behind uh, putting this two voltage level converters here in this single circuit. And later in the output header, we also provided the pins for the speaker so that we can attach an external speaker and can make an actual phone as well through which we can do the conversion because the mic is inbuilt, we can add a speaker and it will be complete conversational circuit. So that was the complete schematic and now, now I hope it's a little bit easy for you to understand and I'll be providing the schematic down in the description in my GitHub repository so that you can take this as a reference for making your own projects. And after the schematic, we designed a custom PCB for this development board, which in 3D looks something like this. Now here also, we did one thing for your convenience, which is we provided the headers 
only on one single side and not on the both side the reason being we want to make it breadboard friendly so that you can easily insert this complete uh, uh, what you can say 4g development board inside the breadboard and can do some prototype projects before going into the pcb side so for that reason to make it breadboard friendly we just use only one single side of headers and here as you can see we put the test points on the back with the proper label so that we can uh, it will be really helpful for us while debugging. And later after finalizing the PCB design, we gave its order to PCB Go Go. Now for those who don't know about this company then PCB Go Go is a PCB manufacturer in China which is working since 2015 and currently they are processing more than 3000 orders per day which is huge. And ordering PCBs online on PCB Go Go is really simple and straightforward. You just need to upload the Gerber file of your PCB project. After that select the number of PCBs and here select the color masking. And later select the shipping option as per your location. And here PCB Gogo offers 24 hours PCB manufacturing time without any extra cost if you allow to add the PCB Gogo logo on it which is really convenient for makers but in my case I was having enough time so I neglected this option. And after that your design will be reviewed for any error and later after reviewing you can pay for your order and get it delivered at your doorstep. The PCBs come safely in a vacuum packaging and the PCB quality is really top notch and feels premium. Now currently they are having an amazing offer where you can get $25 worth PCB at just $1 for all the new users. And also they are offering free shipping in North America and Europe. So just click the link mentioned in the description and get your PCBs right now from PCB Go Go. Now after receiving the PCBs we gather all the components required for this development board and started shouldering them one by one. After shouldering all the SMD components, we shouldered the DIP components and later the final board looks like this. And that's our very own 4G development board ready to be used for some crazy IoT projects. And now let me show you how to use the development board. So before we start programming, first we need to connect all the antennas at the respective position. Then insert the SIM card in the SIM slot. Then power up the SIM module with the 12V 2A power supply. Later I'll insert it in a breadboard and I'll make the connection it with the Arduino Uno board according to this connection diagram. Now as we are using the Arduino Uno board, the logic level switch is at 5V. And now we are good to go to program it. So here is the example code called as ATDebug and it uses one single library called as TinyGSM which you can get it by going to library manager and here just search for TinyGSM and here I am using the version 0.11.7. Now here in this code I provided all the information like what this code about which libraries use, its link, its version. Then if you are using with the ESP32 or ESP266 I have also mentioned on which board package I have tested. Later I have provided all the connection diagram with, with all the four popular boards. ESP32, it Uno and Mega and later uh, this code is made to be compatible with all the boards like you don't need to make any changes in case if you want to upload this code into Mega board or eight to six six or ESP32 the code will remain as it is it will automatically adapt according to the board you select okay so that's kind of code I have written so in Arduino Uno we are using the software serial and the RX TX pins are 12 and 11 respectively and the power key is connected to pin 13 in case you want to change you can definitely change it and later we are just you know powering up the board by using the power key as so it is connected with the Arduino Uno board and later after six seconds we are good to go to provide the AT command so this code will help us to provide the AT commands to our module and can interact with it so here I'll select the right board and com port and let's just hit the upload button okay so the code is successfully uploaded I'll open the serial monitor and here make sure that the border selected is 9600 and here it is selected as both NL and CR okay so here it says tech ESMS 4G development board powering up and we need to wait for six seconds and after six seconds we are good to go to provide the AT commands okay so now we are good to go to provide the commands let's just type as AT here and as you can see I got the response as AT okay let's just type out another command like AT plus CREG oh AT plus CREG question mark and as you can see it says 0, 0,1 now here 1 represent that it is successfully connected with the network. Now let us try calling on some number and let us test the built in microphone. So I'll call it to my office number and the command is ATD plus country code and then the mobile number and semicolon and let us place the call. Okay so it successfully placed the call and I'm getting a call on my office number. So now I'll pick up the call and okay 
the call got picked up and here I'm able to see the audio from the module. So now let me show you how this microphone actually sounds. So right now my voice is coming from the microphone on our 4G development board. So I hope the audio quality is crisp and clear. Right now the mic is very close to my mouth so I'll put it on a table. And now let me know how's the audio quality. Let me hold it far away. Is it still good enough and crisp and clear to listen and understand? So that was the built-in microphone of our module and its quality test. And now let us move on to another AT command. So let us try out GNSS this time. So to turn on the GNSS, the command is CGNSS PWR is equal to one. And we have to wait till it says ready. Okay, it says ready. So now we're going to go to provide another command. So next command is AT plus CGNSS port switch is equal to one comma one. It says okay. Now we are good to go to provide the command at plus cgnss info info. And currently, as you can see, we are not getting any data because it is not connected with any satellite. So we can type out a cgnss info to you know refresh it or to see if it got connected with satellite or not. Or if you don't want to provide this command all the time, you can type a, as at plus cgnss info is equal to one. Here one represents that after every one second, it will automatically call the at command and give the response. So I'll press enter. And as you can see, we are getting the data after every one second. But here, the good part is it got successfully connected with the satellite and we are able to see the latitude and the longitude data. Now, this is the GNSS and not GPS and, and GNSS has access to other satellites rather than just GPS. Okay, so that's why we are able to get the location way faster than GPS. So right now it is connected to only one satellite of GLONASS and that's how we are getting the location. Now to stop this, you can just type AT plus CGNSS info is equal to zero and it will be stopped. So that was another example code and there are a lot of things that you can do with the 4G model. You can do the blink example code, you can connect with MQT, you can connect via HTTP client and a lot of things you can do. So what I did is rather than explaining everything in this single video, I have created a series of videos that covers only one single example code per video whose link I'll be providing in the description of this video. So I made this documentation page because I want you guys like once you have this module, you should have enough content to try out your ideas on it and you don't need to wait for my videos or wait for any other documentation. You have everything provided from our side and slowly we'll be adding more example code based videos as we get your feedback regarding hey Sachin we want this video we want that video everything will be planning out the content will be uploading uh, them one by one in that same playlist so that was our first ever development board made by makers and made for makers and we are selling this complete board along with all the three antennas only and only from our website right now whose link you can find in the description of this video so if you're planning to work on 4g based projects or gnss based projects well this is a perfect board that you should consider because we are not only providing the boards but we are also providing the playlist of all the example code based videos that will help you to quickly get started with the different different features of this board we are also providing the connection diagram with all the boards in a high quality image we are also providing all the codes that we have made particularly for this board through our github repository so we are providing everything for you so you can just focus on what you want to make and here i'd also like to request you to do share this video in your electronics group and let them know about this new development board released in the market and also if you have any suggestion or feedbacks regarding this board well feel free to drop your comment in the comment section of this video and let's have some fruitful conversation there and lastly for you particularly who watched this video till the end and let me tell you what i'm working on right now so currently we are already started working on our 4g base tracker a real-time tracker project which will soon be coming up on our channel and if you're really excited for that 4g based tracker we'll type out excited in the comment section of this video and yeah that being said and finally after more than two or three months now I made this video I made this project and now I'm just ending this video here and now just wait for my next video until they'll explode learn share with me take SMS. 
keep supporting guys